So here is how you can turn off the assistive touch while gaming on your iPhone. So if you need to have that floating button on the screen, there are a few things you can do about it. First of all, just consider lowering down the opacity. So if it stands in a way, you can easily just lower it down to like 15% and make it barely visible, but you can still then accidentally tap it. So perhaps it's not the best idea to just keep it in there. However, if you open up the accessibility settings and scroll all the way towards the bottom, you can find accessibility shortcut. And in this situation, I would recommend you to just choose the assistive touch to be one of the things triggered by accessibility shortcut. And you can also just ensure that nothing else is selected. For instance, I have the guided access, so I'm going to just turn off guided access in entirely. And therefore, the only thing triggered by accessi accessibility shortcut is the assistive touch. And the accessibility shortcut is basically triple tapping the power button on the iPhone, right? So if I triple tap the power button, the accessibility shortcut disappears. So what you can do basically is to open up a game, triple click the side button, the assistive touch is going to disappear. If you want to bring it back, just triple click the side button again, and the floating button will come back to the screen. So this is how it works pretty well. If you ask me, there are some things, some other things as well regarding gaming. So uh, if you open up the accessibility uh, or assistive touch settings, you will notice that there is also the ability to use a game controller with it. So if you already play a game and have a like the PS4 controller connected, you can also use that to control the assistive touch as well. So another interesting setting in here, but that's essentially everything I wanted to let you know about and everything I wanted to talk about. So let me know below in the comments what you think about it, if this helped you out. If it did, hit the thumbs up and I'll see you in the future.